Hey, hello everybody. Welcome to the Science Test Room. Today we are taking a look at Soprano Tron 2. So like Streetly Tron 63 edition, this is a completely new app. Okay, so with this you get, uh, let's see, let's see. You get all the uh, Caitlin Downey, the all the vocal stuff from Soprano Tron here. And then that's, that's all of the, let's see, let's see the up to 15. So that's 15 presets from uh, the Soprano Tron app. Okay. And then you get from, uh, you get the Claire Lindley violin stuff as well. So all the string stuff too. Okay. So you get like, you're getting two apps in one with Soprano Tron 2. All right. So. Also, um, this weighs in an astonishing 113 meg. That's it, just 113 meg. So just let me quickly show you, compared with Streetly Tron here, uh, which is only 270 meg and contains all the 63 patches from the original tapes and stuff like that, Soprano Tron 2 is only 113 meg. Now, this one, Streetly Tron 63, is 999. Soprano Tron 2 is only £5.99, okay? So if you'd bought both, you're looking at, I don't know, what, 15, 16 quid, something like that, okay? The Pro version is coming out very, very soon, and the Pro version will be probably around 20, 24, 25 quid, okay? It will contain everything in Streetly Tron 63 and everything that's in Soprano Tron 2 as well. All right. The difference is the sampling and how it's been done. With the Streetly Tron 63 edition here, and also the Soprano Tron 2 edition, okay, these have been sampled at minor thirds. So instead of sampling every single note from an original Mellotron or getting the tapes from Streetly, this has been sampled at like like this, and it, re it vastly reduces the actual sampling size. So with very little difference in, in sound. And the other thing to remember is that the looping time is about five seconds on Streetly Tron and Soprano Tron 2. On the Street on the Pro Edition, which will contain everything, the sampling is the full eight second loop sampling that was on the originals and every single note has had full chromatic sampling. Okay, so, Phil Lacken, uh, the developer, is keen to point out that the Pro Edition really is for enthusiasts and uh, and people who, who really want the genuine, genuine experience. But you're not really going to get a lot of difference. Now, on the point of AUV3, before we get into the... <laughs> sampling the app. Um, the, 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 the AUV3 isn't available yet, but it is coming. So Phil's working on AUV3. Now, when these apps get AUV3, it will be a completely 100% free update. Okay. So you might see that I've got both of them here running in AUM. This is just to demonstrate something. <clears throat> that you can layer them at the moment in AUM, no problem, or Cubases or whatever. It's dead easy to set up. The difference to know that is when you load an AUV3, <clears throat> you'll see this let's just quickly load mood here so this is mood uh by um apesoft um you'll notice that it has a little uh like a toaster at the side of it here and then you can click on that and you can map this to your midi keyboard in my case <laughs> my launch key, but you won't see that on the Soprano Tron or Streetly Tron because they're inter-app audio at the moment. When they get a UV3, you'll see that little toaster or hamburger or whatever you want to call it at the side there. Okay, let's remove that, center it back up. Um, so to get them to play together, all you need to do is go into MIDI routing here and make sure that your instruments that you want to play on your keyboard inside AUM are just routed to your MIDI controller in this case, which is launch key, uh, launch key MIDI, not not control, but MIDI. And it'll be for whatever controller you've got plugged in. And then all you need to do is uh, nothing. 
Oh yeah, because they're already rerouted through the outside. But that's how you do it anyway. That said, let us play with some of these sounds. Let's get rid of Uh So you can stack, you can get massive stacks going on. It's great. So let's have a look. Okay, so we can move between A, B, and C. But on off, if you've got a MIDI controller, it also has the, um, the you, you know, the ability to do that via MIDI on a modulation wheel. So this is staccato R's. <laughs> Now, say, for instance, you like this particular set of patches and you wanted to save it to um, at one of these eight presets. All you need to do is hold and it will flash and then that's saved. So this one will be. It's a beautiful thing. And then when we go back to preset one, it's set on. And we can blend between A and B or, sorry, B and C. So let's change that to, uh, say, a staccato ooh. Now, like Streetly Tron 63, this also has the ability to um, kind of remove the original sound and replace it with the reverb, which gives a huge uh, and beautiful wash effect. So let's go to another preset. And for instance, this R soft. By turning the reverb send all the way up and the reverb space all the way up, you get this amazing lush washed out reverb effect it's absolutely amazing so i'm going to close the microphone and just play that for you And then as soon as you want to bring the actual sound back in, as soon as you start to back off the reverb sound, you'll get the original, uh, the original sound blend back in. Thank you. 
Okay, so something else to point out as well is that you can detune um, preset B. So if you are blended between, say, let's blend that up like that with the modulation wheel. If you're blended between A and B, you can detune, or B and C, you can detune B. Okay, so let's have a listen to. I mean, like you get, you can see what you get. All kinds of cool stuff. Another thing they've added as well, Phil's added, is the ability to double tap to return to center. So if we have the tone up here, double tap on it, we'll return that, that control to centers.
So there you go, a good blast through for the new Soprano Tron 2, which includes the, the clair violin stuff as well, which is awesome. Uh, it's a beautiful thing, and it's a genuine Mellotron feel, it's just awesome. Goes beautifully with the Streetly Tron 63. I'll put links in for the Streetly Tron 63 and also the uh, Soprano Tron 2. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you like the video, as always, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to the channel or please consider becoming a patron to help support the science history and what we do. And, uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, cool beans, Sopranotron 2. I'll see you guys later. Ta-da.